Hello, my name is Lauren Briggs and today I will be doing a book review on the book called God Camp by Thomas J. Ord. As you can see, I've had many, many opinions on this book. I can't say that I would recommend it to anybody and I am not a fan. But uh, it was published in 2019 by Sacred Sage and Thomas J. Ord himself. Uh, this book is basically, it's supposed to be a book to help people who have been through a lot of tragedy and abuse and other evil evils. It's supposed to help them believe in God after all that. And I think that this book uh, is very, very misleading for these people. I think people who have been through this and are in this stage should not be reading this book because this, does, this book would not help them. It, like I said, it's very, very misleading and... You know, it's 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 not true. It's not there's no it's not facts. It's just opinions. It's Thomas's opinions. I'll leave it there. Okay, so Thomas J. Ward uses examples from people he has talked to and real life events, um, people who have you know just been through the worst things and how they. Um, came to believe his way and believe in God again. Uh, things that, you know, the, some of these stories are the, like the worst things that could happen to people, but here, to us anyways, that what we think is worse, but we don't know, because it could always have been worse, because God prevents things all the time. He blesses us in ways we don't even know, because, you know, he, like, he's kept us safe, and kept us from awful things but we wouldn't know it because he has kept us from it okay so in his book he has I think there's four five beliefs let me check that yes five okay so the first one is God can't prevent evil I personally think that that is just I don't, I don't even know where he got that from. God is God. Um, he Thomas is trying to make reason. And for things that have happened, he's trying to make an excuse for it. Like a reason uh, that it had to happen. Because he has to know. Because he thinks that... It sounds like to me that Thomas thinks that he should know more than God. Or he should know what God knows. Or why God does what he does. And we're not. We're humans. He created us. We don't know what happens. Um... You know it's sad that these things happen, but we don't. But God knows. God always has. God has a reason. He knows, and you know. Um, let me see. I wrote a note in here somewhere, but I'm gonna sound pretty repetitive because Thomas J. Ward is pretty repetitive in his ideas and trying to push what he believes, but. In my opinion and my belief, I'd, I'd go to church and I believe God can prevent evil. Uh, I believe this book is very misleading. For reasons beyond our understanding, God allows things to happen. And it could be to show us we need Him. You know, it could be anything, but we aren't supposed to know because we aren't God. The second point that Thomas makes in the book is that God feels our pain. I think that that's true. God does feel our pain. He knows when we're hurting, and it hurts him to see us hurting. Um, I really... Uh, there's different things in the chapter, one, but one of my notes was that God may be saying that it's not the right time for certain things. Uh, you know, there was a story about this woman named Debbie, and she was praying for healing. And she, uh, she had been, she, this was another story about miscarriages and, you know, she was with this abusive husband. Uh, God probably knew that she shouldn't have a child with this husband. You know, maybe she was with the same husband, so, you know, it, it could have been a bad relationship and God knew that they didn't need a child together. Um, he talks about myths and realities, He, which really, these are just opinions in this chapter. He says, myth, God healed long ago, but doesn't any longer. Reality, God always works to heal. This was true in the past and still true in the present. That is one that I do agree on. 
the second one says, God may not heal until we beg or pray hard enough. Reality, God works to heal even before we ask. I believe that one too. Uh, the third one says, to heal, God supernaturally intervenes in our lives. That's the myth. The reality is that God is always already present and doesn't need to come into our lives or circumstances. That one, I believe. It says, uh, myth, we should add, if it's your will, if the prayers to ask God to heal reality, it's always God's will to heal, and so on phrase is unnecessary. I think we do need to ask, you know, Lord, if it's your will, because we don't know, and it, it shows our seriousness, and God knows, but he wants us to talk to him. Uh, our pain, suffering, and abuse are part of God's preordained plan. He says this is myth. He says the reality is God's plan does not include causing or allowing evil. That is... I don't believe is true. I would, I don't believe God wants us to feel pain, and He don't. He doesn't want want us to. Uh, he doesn't want evil in our lives, but it's going to happen because the devil is the evil in our lives. And just like Job, He allowed the devil to do all these horrible things to Job in the Bible, and and Job's still stuck by God. He's still you know, stayed with his beliefs, he didn't go against God, and then he was blessed. You know, God allowed it to happen to show the devil, hey, he is my servant. He will serve me no matter what you do to him. Um, God can heal single-handedly. Uh, that He says it's a myth. Reality, God cannot heal single-handedly because doing so will require God to control creatures or creation. God's love is inherently uncontrolling. God can heal if he wants to. He can heal single-handedly. Um, and then the rest of them are just, you know, just, he, it's just, it's opinion. It's opinionated. And in order to believe, to see what you truly believe, you need to believe, you need to read the Bible, not a book by somebody who is opinionated. And my opinion, not truthful, or it doesn't sound like a Christian. Like, there's a, there's another, uh, verse in here that he says to someone that true believers uh, believe in this plan saying true believers true Christians believe in this plan of God and then he goes in the next in the next paragraph and says I for one do not believe in this plan Thomas J. Ord says that so if he doesn't believe in it isn't he contradicting himself and saying he's not a true believer so why should be we be believing his work you know Things like that. It's just, it's very hard for me to read this book because it's, it's so opinionated and it's, it, by Thomas Sherwood, it's his opinion. Um, <coughs> God works to heal. Uh, and when Thomas Sherwood says that he's, you know, God is always trying to help us and heal us, but he, Thomas Sherwood turns it, he turns things around. Like, he tries to act like God can't fully heal, that he has to have help in healing, but he doesn't. He's God. He can heal if he wants to, and he does help. He will help people heal if he needs to, but he is fully capable of healing us. He doesn't need help. But in our lives, he does. He helps the doctors heal us, but does he need to? No, because he is God, and he could heal us ourselves. Um, the fourth belief is that God squeezes good from bad. God can, he can prevent evil. He don't have to squeeze the good out of it. He, uh, he helps us and he, and he, you know, if he sees through going out of, uh, he's going through a rough time, he can help us see the good in it. And if you're a true Christian, he will help you through it. If you go to him, he will be there for you because God will always be there. He is always here. He is always with us. And he knows. But Thomas Sheward makes it that God has to squeeze the good out of the bad because, you know, the bad is just overwhelming. God can't, he can't prevent that himself. He has to have help and he just has to squeeze the good out of it. And I just, I don't know. It's, it's hard to, it's, it's hard, it's really hard to read this book without getting upset or opinionated. Uh, like, Thomas stresses truth throughout the book, but it's really just opinion. And, <clears throat> uh, let me see where I put this note.
Oh, Joni the uh, swimmer. Ah, uh, Thomas doesn't doesn't agree with her. I for one agrees. Joni believes her injuries are part of God's plan, and her life did change, and she was a better person for it. <coughs> and she believes that this was in God's plan, and I believe I agree with her. But Thomas turns around and says he does he doesn't, and he's not even the one that went through this. Like it's just it's very contradicting and. Uh, He says he doesn't believe God could cause evil, but evil causes evil. That He says he doesn't believe God could cause evil, and I'm saying evil causes evil. Uh, in chapter 5, he talks about different views. Um, my view would probably be all God and uh, the conventional view, because uh, it says those who endorse the all God view believe free will is an illusion. Which is not completely true for me. I, I think, you know, God knows our plan, but we still choose how we get, get there. But he knows that we're going to do that, but he doesn't control us. <coughs> and then the conventional says that people accept the conventional view, view begin by thinking God is essentially beyond uh, divine transcendence. That... Uh, but God is he decided to be here I don't know I think he, he tries to put these people in all these categories like you're either this or you're either this or you're either this but it's actually a combination like things in life you're not just there or you're not, not just that you can be a combination <laughs> and then the fifth belief in this book, God Can't, is that God needs our cooperation. He believes, Thomas J. Ward believes that God has to have us to help him. No, we have to have God to help us. Without God, we would not be here. <coughs> but Thomas believes that God needs our cooperation. God wants us to talk to him, and he probably isn't going to want to help us if we don't talk to him, if we're not, you know a good Christian or we're not a good servant of the Lord, you know, he's probably not going to uh, be as likely to help us, but he will because he's God and he loves all of us regardless of what happened. You know, you could have done the worst thing, but through Christ and going to church and uh, being a true servant of God, you can be forgiven if you really mean it and it can change your life. Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, it's hard for me to do what a great review on this uh, to summarize it because I was very distracted by all the opinions of Thomas in here that I highly disagree with I would not recommend this book to people especially people who are uh, not in a good place you know people who are, are dealing with tra tragedy they don't need to be reading a book like this that's so opinionated and misleading and instead of reading Thomas's book they should be reading the Bible um, so thanks for watching.